Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Liz Bishop. And I'm Cody Holyoke. Tonight, a local Humane Society is asking for your help. Three days after police discovered about 150 cats and kittens living in a 1,000 square foot Scattercook home. Yeah, that home has now been condemned and we're still waiting to hear if the people who live there will be facing charges. Kimberly Howard is live inside the Mohawk Hudson Humane Society right now. And Kimberly, those monetary donations are really what they need the most, aren't they? That's true, Liz. We saw dozens of people stop by the Humane Society today dropping off canned food, kitty litter, and towels to keep these guys comfortable. But as you mentioned, what they need is that money for medicine because many of these guys are sick. The Humane Society estimates it could cost tens of thousands of dollars to care for all. Three days after about 150 cats were discovered inside this Scattercoke home, the building has been condemned. The rescue team in hazmat suits cleared out. But at the Mohawk Huts and Humane Society, nearly 100 cats and kittens are in need of food, kitty litter, towels to cushion their cages, but most of all, medicine. Things like antibiotics and deworming medication. Many of these cats are sick. Some are blind, others have fleas and upper respiratory illnesses. We've been getting don donations from all over the country for these cats. But almost as soon as the donations come in, they get eaten up. And because about 50 more cats are still hiding in the walls and in tiny nooks and crannies of this home, the need continues to grow. Crews are now able to tear down walls to rescue the remaining cats, but they have to be careful. Diseased cats don't escape and start roaming the neighborhood. And it's just impossible to, to tear every wall in the house out in order to access them all. So we're going to have to set live traps with food, but then those traps have to be monitored regularly. We have to have people continuously going in the house to check them. Back here at the Humane Society, they are also looking for volunteers and foster families that can take some of these cats home, a place where they can be away from other animals. We're told that as soon as next week, some of these animals may be healthy enough for adoption, but for most of them, they won't be able to be going a few weeks. We're live in Manans, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.